So there is a lot of farming in Outriders to do and today I've decided to bring you guys the results from farming the Warlord boss on a world tier 15 200 times and well the results are interesting for sure. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So Outriders right now is a game in which almost everyone in some way shape or form is farming as it's a big part of the game. Last night I decided I wanted to test and write down all the loot I get from farming the Warlord boss which is a great spot for 200 runs. And the Warlord is located within the dune so if you do want to, well if you're interested in this farm uh, you can easily just go to it, select the story point option of the dune, second one down, load it up and you are here people. So me as a level 30 class character with all my gear being basically a level 49 from those expeditions, going back into a world tier 15 to farm this boss, these were the results and I will say, I thought it would be interesting to see uh, with the madness world tier 15 legendary drop rate modifier bonus of a plus 425%. You'd think we'd see some crazy results, and well, the results are indeed crazy. Okay, so the total time it took me to run these was roughly around 1 hour 40 minutes, with an average best run each round of about 29 seconds, sometimes a little longer due to waiting on ads to kill me. Okay, so the rares I got a total of 167 from 200 runs. Epics, interestingly, I got 168, so I got one more epic than I did rare. Legendaries, guys, I got a total of one. I got one legendary from 200 runs, which to me is kind of bizarre. And yes, I know it's all down to RNG, no matter the drop rate modifier. It's still crazy to think that I could run one boss 200 times and only get one legendary. I guarantee you guys though, if I run it another 200 times, I'll probably get 5 or 10. Okay, so this farm also drops titanium too. And from a total of 200 runs, I got 1,244 titanium just from the boss alone. So with the rares, I sold these to Bailey. And in total, I got 457,916 scrap for them. So not bad at all. The epics I dismantled and got a further 2,184 titanium. Give or take one or two which I may have lost track of. So to be honest it's quite the farm for materials, epics seemingly drop almost every run and sometimes even getting free drop at once. But in terms of the legendaries it's just as we know every boss in the game it's all based on RNG with no guarantee. Expeditions are obviously the place to go unless you want to farm the hunts or the historian events or bounties or whatever with the guarantees. But other than that expeditions are obviously the best place for legendaries. But in terms of materials here, I think it's pretty good. But yeah guys, those are the results of me running the same boss over and over for over an hour and a half, 200 runs, under Warlord. I got quite a few materials which have helped me a ton. But in terms of legendaries guys, I got one in total, which you are seeing on screen now. But yeah, I may test the OG Captain, I may test the Vanguard Captain, I may test the Chrysaloid or any other boss for that matter, just to see if results differ. But everything will be done on World Tier 15. But yes, guys, just another quick and short video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. Interesting results for sure. I'm pretty certain you will agree with that. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.